otish.com learn anywhere anytime namaste and good morning today we are going to discuss english language teaching english language teaching includes especially teaching language skills and teaching language aspects there are four language skills listening speaking reading and writing in natural order generally language skills are taught in natural order first we teach listening and speaking and then reading and writing students in primary level has to be focused much on primary skills listening and speaking language aspects include teaching of grammar vocabulary pronunciation and language functions we discuss teaching language skills and aspects under english language teaching first of all let us discuss the considerations while teaching english language we have to consider some major things while teaching english first of all we have to consider we have to focus on setting up the context or situation if we set natural like setting for teaching english then the students can learn well and we have to consider the presenting new materials new vocabulary with appropriate materials support materials vocabulary should be taught with proper use of materials this should be considered while teaching english and conducting communicative activities is another important matter in teaching english through games language games songs rhymes chants riddles pictures jokes acting etc can be the communicative activities while teaching english this is to be considered and use of appropriate materials not only for teaching vocabulary but also teaching all skills and aspects we have to prepare and use appropriate materials teaching materials in teaching english language we have to give the chance give the students chance to practice or train all four skills without practicing four skills they can't learn without practicing listening without practicing speaking without practicing reading and without practicing writing they can't learn listening speaking reading and writing so we have to train students in all four skills this is it is another consideration while teaching english language understanding individual difference and need of the students is another important matter an important phenomenon while teaching english the students background their status of knowledge of language uh, we have to know them all without knowing them we are without knowing students the teacher can't teach well so understanding individual difference and their need and their background 
and setting the activities according to their need is another important matter to be considered while teaching English language and providing sufficient exposure in communicative English and providing them the opportunities to practice language or to use English language is important matter. The opportunity to practice language should be provided inside the classroom and outside the classroom as well. Without such opportunity, the students can't learn English. So, providing sufficient exposure of language, English language, and providing them the sufficient opportunity to practice it is another important thing to be considered while teaching English. Now, let us discuss teaching of listening. Listening is the first and most important skill of language. It is a primary skill. It is the receptive skill. The student has to listen, understand and respond. If student is able to listen, understand and respond according to the oral text, then the listening completes. Otherwise, listening becomes incomplete. Much focus should be given in primary skills that is listening and speaking in primary level because in natural order listening and speaking comes first then reading and writing come later so we have to give sufficient exposure and opportunity of practice of listening and speaking in primary classes. So, listening skill should be focused much in teaching English language. Listening means not only listening, but listening the text, oral text, and understanding it and responding appropriately. So, this should be considered while teaching of listening. Now, let us discuss the activities that can be carried out in the classroom while teaching listening. Generally, we can divide the activities in three stages or three different types of activities can be carried out in teaching while teaching listening there are three stages pre-listening stage so for pre-listening stage we have to do the pre-listening activities and in the while listening stage, after pre-listening, the while listening activities are done and at last consolidation activities that is the post-listening activities are carried out for the development of the listening skill in the students. Pre-listening -pre activities are such activities which 
leads the student to listen the text and uh, it focuses or motivates generally pre listening activities uh, motivates the students and directs the students towards the listening text and what they are going to listen exactly for this the pre listening activities help them so in pre listening activities the teacher has to teach new vocabulary in this under pre listening activities the teacher has to teach new vocabularies new vocabularies through different techniques we can teach vocabulary with the use of appropriate materials and appropriate techniques the new words or new vocabularies are taught we will discuss how to teach vocabulary later now this is one activity in pre listening stage then talking about the related pictures uh, the teacher can give some pictures can present some picture uh, related to the text oral text that the teacher going is going to present orally before the students for the listening activity the teacher can give some pictures and through pictures also the teachers can give some ideas or can motivate the students for listening so it is pre listening activities and some riddles are uh, discussing riddles also come under pre listening activities uh, riddles are uh, known as the brain teasers as well with the uh, riddles the students are prepared to listen and they uh, while using riddles uh, for pre listening activity the teacher presents some ideas related to the real oral text uh, before presenting oral text uh, some riddles can be for example uh, so, uh, for example new word bros is there about bros the teacher is going to present there in the real text uh, the the teacher can think can give the chance to students to think about bros without saying bros uh, the teacher can give the opportunity to guess the students and uh, it is uh, used to clean teeth as well and sometimes a different type of it is used to clean the uh, shoes like this the riddle uh, the teacher can present the riddle with this they guess about bros or they can say they can guess and can find out it as the bros so here the riddle can help to go through to to go to the real text oral text so it is it can be pre listen pre listening activity then some language games can be a pre listening activity and giving some question generally sign post question can also be given that is a main question from the text not 
whole text generally some question one or two questions can be given related to the text and the students can guess the answer so it's guessing guessing of the answer of the questions or guessing of the context maybe some activities of pre-listening activities and uh, asking questions related to the text and guessing both the signpost question can be asking that is can be asked that is a question asking questions not detailed but for only direction towards the text some question can be given and guessing is different by giving the pictures by giving the context the students are uh, saying something uh, a part of story are related to the text and the students are asked to guess such activities can be carried out as pre-listening 